Hello, good morning. I've been to Bulgaria at several occasions. I was either being a member of the jury at the advertising festival or doing some lectures. It was always in Albena. So we had lots of fun there because, you know, time was good and everybody was very relaxed. Also, it was more casual as, or less formal as today. And there was more beach, so I could do my final preparation sitting on the beach, and, and so I was enjoying this very much. But now times have, things have changed, and times have changed. We know it's all America's fault, so that's where we started, and hopefully, you know, that's where it's going to end it. And that's where all the bad news are coming from the United States, so every day you can... Uh, read about massive layoffs in advertising agencies, 40 here, 80 there, uh, altogether a couple of uh, uh, thousands. So there are lots of bad news coming from there. We hear also from the big uh, advertising groups that credit ratings is going down, and that's concerning everybody, like the IBGs and the Omnicoms and the WPPs and the Buffalices, because they've been built their networks on debt. We hear a lot about, you know, clients let the uh, business pitch because they want to come down with the cost, they come to bring down the fees. Here's an example from Nokia. So we, we kind of know we have to change and we have to change how we do business and we kind of believe who's willing to leave existing path looking for new ones during the crisis has the chance to be the winner in the end. So how are we going to do this? Well, you've been wondering about the Chinese characters here. I hope it's true, but the word crisis with these two characters, the left character uh, you can find in the word Chinese word danger and, and, and the right hand one in the word opportunity. So having a crisis means we are sort in danger, but there's also a lot of opportunity. Well, you know, looking into the future, well, nobody exactly knows what's going to be in the future, so basically the best profits are those who wait until things happen, and that's basically what I did, you know, just checking around and see what happens. So what I want to do today is basically uh, share some thoughts and ideas which will make us and our industry strong all together. I've been reading a lot of articles, uh, hearing to a lot of presentations, seeing studies in the area of, of advertising communication and media. Sorry, I've been a bit lazy on, on, on stating the sources and, and where the quotes are from, so if anybody needs more information, can send me an email and uh, try to get the original article then. Also, I found somebody who is excited about the, crisis, the recession and the crisis. That's Mr. Levy from the Publicis Group. He thinks crisis as, is a challenge. Uh, we should focus on assets rather than deficits, recognizing there are big problems, but focusing on the potential and investing in companies' assets that deliver returns and stronger competitive positions. Layoffs should be the last place uh, last place to take uh, to look for cost adjustments. There's a need to keep people motivated and doing great, great work. Hopefully, it's going to work out. And one key area: everyone must be literate in digital, because we can't tell the client when it comes to digital that now we are going to call the specialists. And also the creative agencies coming back very strongly, that's what he believes, because advertisers will be in need of great ideas. There's one ingredient that is as badly needed as the money and the credit, and that's the idea. Talking about being digital literate, I found an interesting example from Procter & Gamble in the United States. They give their marketers a crash course in social marketing. So Procter & Gamble paired 40 digital media and agency executives with hundreds of its North American marketing directors in a contest to sell tight 
T-shirts for charity Tide is a major brand of detergents in the U.S. A digital hack night became a four-hour reality show aired largely on social media. Amongst the lessons learned, fewer than 150 media and marketing people leaning heavily on their social media friends and followers and spending a total of about only $4,000 on digital media can sell more than 2,000 t-shirts at $20 each for charity and hit the top 10 trending topics on Twitter in the process. So the key objective was to come up with learning experience for the marketing directors that would inspire them and expose them to digital media in a new way, a real-time uh, demonstration of the power of social media, like the Facebooks and the LinkedIn's and the Twitters and the Xing. So a big company was saying, well, now we have to train all of our people, particularly those in executive positions. What do Germany's top nine media agency CEOs expect? They say, well, there might be a minus 5 to 20 percent in net spendings in 2009, so the budget is really going down. All will invest in digital, more individualized targeting, double play, TV and online, improved creative on online, I think is important, and everything on return of investment, efficiency measurement, sort of modeling and a look into content, mobile, direct, brand entertainment, sponsorships. What are the consumers doing? Uh, changing their attitude starts, brands, essential goods and services such as healthcare products, groceries and household products are more likely than other categories to be purchased in the same manner as the typical would be when the economy is strong. 